proper video back on the main channel. We're in Chiang Mai, had a bit of a Starbucks group ride this morning. We've just turned onto the left off the main highway and we've now onto a bit of a race. So basically there's like maybe a five to eight kilometer sec. I think yeah, it's probably about seven, eight K, um, maybe six, seven Ks. Anyway, something like that. And everyone has a bit of a smash vest. Anyway, so I'm third wheel now. We've got this bloke from Imperial from London, actually. Pretty, pretty funny that he's here. He's doing a bit of medicine. He's at the head of just ahead of me, we've got a couple other blokes, we've got a lorry, that we, a, a van which we need to overtake here. So these roads in Thailand are incredibly fast, like, like, it's just insane, like you, like going 50 here is like not even that special, like you can average, like, we average for this section on the race part, 49 k's an hour, like, we did do some motor pace and stuff, but even so, like, averaging 50 on these roads is just not that hard, like, even 40, like 40 is literally like 200, 250 watts. It's just so good. Like there's barely any wind as well. It's actually just the best, it's just the best place to ride in terms of boosting your average speed. So if you're, if you're an average speed person, come to Thailand and just ride on the flats and you will love it. So anyway, there was a bit of a sprint at the end. Didn't really know what was happening, but basically everyone's just, you know, feeling each other out, having a bit of a smash. It was maybe 15, 20 people here. I knew like four or five people here. So Hayden was there, uh, Anna and Christian were there, and this other bloke from Imperial was there, and then Lursak, another guy. Uh, another Thai guy was there as well, but I didn't really speak to him that much. But anyway, you can see here, Mr. TT Man decides to come up on the right-hand side. He, he wants a slot in front of me, so I'm like, all right, no worries, man. So Mr. TT Man, now, I always think he's a bit dodge doing a, a group ride in a TT. Like, he did seem to know that, you know, don't go in the extensions, obviously, when you're um, in the group. But now, he's in the TT position. Sorry about the camera, obviously, it's raining. Uh, it does get better, don't worry, but somehow. Uh, but he's in the TT position, so I'm literally, like, bending my my arms as much as possible just trying to get as low as possible you can see i'm doing quite decent watts on his wheel just because like it's just no draw from this man because he's just in his time trial position which is really annoying we're getting 48 k's an hour here so he's probably doing like 350 now nah, probably about 400 on the front i'd say and you can see i'm doing like two, 250 to up to 300 sometimes so you can see if he was like riding a normal road bike position i get a lot of a draft because i'm smaller than 95 percent of people i ride with so i normally get quite a good draft Anyway, he sits up here, and I'm like, come through. I surge up a little bit, try not to be too antisocial. Sometimes on these rides, like, if, you're being, if you want to be a bit of a dick, just when you pull through, just pull through and, like, pull, like, five, 600 watts. But if you want to be nice, don't do that, and just try and hold even wattage. So I was trying to hold, like, 400 to 450 down here, and basically do about a minute on the front, depending how I felt. Um, I think I did a minute on the front before, but here, I, I think I did a little less, because my legs were a little far... My legs were feeling it a little bit, just, just a little bit. But anyway, I was, I was the smallest bloke here, which is always good. I just maybe Hayden was, but anyway, a small bloke on the flat. I do like doing the flat rides. They are just good, good training. Here's slightly uphill. It says it's downhill, but it was slightly uphill. Anyway, I get to this white part. I'm like, right, cheerio, lads. I'm through. Um, so this guy then comes through and he, he kicks it up. And as soon as you, if you see someone suddenly kick it up, you like I suddenly accelerate because I realise there's um the speed difference is too much. Then Christian was messing with his glasses, opened up a massive gap. Hayden has to close that gap. And now I'm trying to get back in the line because I really don't want to get stuck too far back on these group rides. Generally, like if you can try not to go all the way to the back, like obviously you have to pull turns more often. But if you get stuck at the back, it can be really hard to get to the front because obviously it's just strung out the whole time because it's not like a race where you can sort of bunch up four or five wide because you're actually on a road. Um, but anyway, we, we end up catching this van, uh, this sort of lorry, which you might be able to see in a bit. Uh, and this causes for some interesting things. Um, <laughs> so we're going 46, 47. So you can see the pace is, pace is slowed down a bit. We were up to like 48, but you know, a couple of k's an hour is not, not too big. Uh, but it's starting to come back up. And you see here, like, I try to be relatively smooth. Like, sometimes I'll let the wheel go a little bit just because I don't want to surge too much. Um, but you'll see now, I think there's, there's the lorry. Um, and it had a sweet draft, like a real good draft. Anyway, and then everyone's a bit confused. I have no idea. Like, when you're, it was my first time doing this group ride, so I didn't really want to, like, you know, dictate the pace or, like, well, no, I did. But, like, I didn't want to, you know, do things that other people might not do and all the rest of it. So I had, like, we came up to this lorry and we were just going fast in it. So I had no idea if we were like going to overtake it or what. But the thing is, overtaking a lorry like this, in order to pass it relatively quickly, you do have to be doing like 50 55, uh, and we're just not. So this guy ahead of me is like, uh, I don't really want to overtake the lorry because it was a bit sketchy here, it didn't look like we we're getting through. So I was like, uh, what are we doing? And then I think now we start to drop off. He waves me through just about now. He's like, yeah, come on, mate, come on, mate. I'm like, okay, and then he waves me through again. I'm like, all right, all right. Anyway, so I'm, I'm an absolute, <laughs> I'm not very nice guy because I kick it up almost to 900 watts to get across. Um, and then I see again, this guy suddenly sees the lorry. He's like, all right, I'm going to get on the wheel. So I was like, all right, I'll get on his wheel and just get a bit of motor pacing because motor pacing is just so much fun. Like, you really can't, you really can't just like miss motor, like, 
It's not love motivating. It's actually so much fun. So we're going 53k an hour down here. This guy then pulls his, flicks his elbow out. He looks like, oh, I'm not doing any work. TT man comes flying past. So I hop up straight on TT man's wheel, put it up to almost 600 watts there, just get on the TT man wheel. And then I, I was pretty confident from here that we'd be able to get that truck back. So he was going 55k an hour and um, I was on his wheel. I was not doing too many watts actually, I was quite happy about because we're still getting a good draft. And he comes around and I, this is when I'm, I really kick it up. And I basically strung it out. Everyone's saying behind. Suddenly it got kicked up to like 55k's an hour. It's basically me and the TT man. And we were just, I was drilling. I was like, I'm getting this lorry back. So you can see I'm doing 450 watts on the front with the draft. So it's 56k's an hour. And the thing is, I'm getting a good draft. But if you're like, let's say 10 wheels back, the only draft you're getting is like from one person. It's all strung out. So it was real hard. I think it split up a lot then. Uh, but obviously a lot of people still managed to hold on. Because if you're like front five or I do, so you're still getting a good draft from this thing. So you can see now here, I'm like, well, I'll just stay on the front. Like, it's not that much work. You can see I'm sort of oscillating between 300 and 100 watts. Uh, maybe a little bit of surges sometimes. Um, but generally, yeah, we're going 50 k's an hour drafting this thing. And uh, it was good. Pretty, pretty chill now. But, like, in reality, it would have been a lot better if this thing wasn't here. Because then we could have really hurt other people. And, like, actually... I would have seen what happened in this bunch ride, but instead it sort of just got neutralized here because everyone was just like, well, I don't really want to overtake it because you really have to be sprinting past it like some 900 watts to get past it for a decent effort. And so if you're going 50 to overtake it at a decent speed, like I was saying before, decent time, sorry, so it doesn't take you ages, you really do have to kick it up quite quite a lot. So around this corner, I really surge out to try and just stay on the wheel, which I knew would hurt everyone else behind me. Um, like in these situations, if you are doing things like this and like you want to hurt other people, then just accelerations is the best. Because if you accelerate, then everyone else has to match your what for what. That's what the vegan cycle always goes on about, matching what for what. And like if you surge something slowly, that's really nice. And that's like if you're trying to help someone get back on the group, then do it slowly. But if you want to just go and really hurt other people, then do massive surges, which is something which is what I was sort of trying to do. But anyway, is th this th thing then slows down around the corners. We're only doing 49. I'm like, come on, mate, come on. But I sort of like, I didn't really want to overtake it. It was a bit dodgy. Anyway, this guy on the right decides to go because it's the sprint. Um, just about now, he, this guy on the right just absolutely rockets past. Um, I had no idea what was going on because I obviously had no idea what the roads were. So this guy goes past. And I looked to the guy on the right like, are we going? Do we go? I was sort of a bit skeptical, like maybe. And then he decided to go. So I was like, all right, I'm going as well. Um, kick it up. It wasn't really a full gas sprint because he wasn't, I didn't think he was sprinting, but I think he actually was. He was just sprinting in the saddle. So anyway, I held out like 600 round here. I uh, got 58, 59 k's an hour on the flat, which I think is probably the fastest I've ever really been. Um, but that was just because the bus was good. And I think the tree back there is where the, the sprint finishes. But anyway, it was a good ride with the lads. Always enjoyable to do fast group rides, just get used to racing because I've got a couple of races probably coming up, which will be fun. Um, so yeah, just enjoyable seeing seeing what all the guys are like and I just love going really fast like 50 k's an hour it's just absolutely dreamy uh, with like zero watts as well um, so yeah it was a really nice ride the Starbucks group ride after that I did a bit of doy I did like a 34 or something just tempo um, like 280 watts or whatever it was felt pretty decent um, so yeah there we go good ride uh, solid solid uh, hit out with the leads so cheers for watching and I'll see you in the next video